History was made today here in Ohio with the groundbreaking of Intel's $20 billion investment in their semiconductor factories. Intel CEO Governor Mike DeWine and President Joe Biden were all here to mark this momentous occasion. We celebrate today a great victory for Ohio, but an even greater victory for our country. A welcome party like no other initiating the Buckeye State into the Intel family. CEO Pat Gelsinger praising the Chips and Science Act for making this new facility possible. For an industry to be revitalized, it's huge you know, for the nation. And of course, for Ohio, you know, the, the coast have participated in the tech revolution. The center of the nation has it. At this plant, Intel workers will produce semiconductor chips, which power cars, computers, cell phones, and many other things we use in our everyday life. And just over a month away from the high-stakes midterm elections, political leaders put the pause on partisanship to put the mission of America first. There's nothing, I mean this from the bottom of there is nothing, not a single thing beyond our capacity as a nation if we do it together as the United States of America. And Intel says in the initial phase, 3,000 high paying tech jobs will be available, then thousands more will be added in the near future. They're also committed to educating younger Ohioans throughout our colleges and universities in the state in STEM education. Here in Licking County, Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.